Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another sneaker pickup. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to go check it out because I'm picking up a bunch of random sneakers just like this one all the time. So, this one I got from Packer Shoes here in New Jersey. I tried for these on release on the Adidas Confirmed app, but obviously took that L. So I was glad to manually hit on these. Uh, it's a pretty fitting sneaker pickup too. You guys can't see this. I have my Duff beer mug here. Shout out to Steph in the background. Steph, say what's up. What's up? Yeah, she just got back from uh, Universal and uh, picked that up for me because she knows I'm a huge Simpsons fan and this is a very fitting pickup. So super fast shipping. They're based here in New Jersey, so it literally took one business day for them to get here. I ordered them Friday morning when they released on the uh, 12th and today's the 13th and they they showed up so here's my receipt here is the box and pull it out here and if you guys check out my channel i'm a big fan of the zx sneaker line i've collected a bunch over the years and more recently i've picked up from the a through zx line the lego pair and the two bape undefeated pairs uh, in both colorways and this one is part of that series if you guys don't know, quick background, Adidas is doing this A through ZX collection that represents each letter of the alphabet, and they team up with a collaborator or a concept um, from their archival ZX models, and this one represents K. Um, so the Simpsons obviously starts with S, but I believe they did like a superstar, ZX 5000, I believe. Um, so this stands for K uh, of the Krusty Burger, and opening these things up, yes sir. Wow, here we go, here they are. So there is ZX10,000, um, I'll talk more about it in the actual review portion. Here's the unboxing, they come with an extra set of black laces in the box. Uh, standard, no oh, actually not standard paper, it says Adidas and the Simpsons on it. Here they are, these things are sweet. So a commemorative box would have been nice, but I think this is just the standard box these days with that A through ZX line. Um, come with a bunch of different lace dubrays. I'm definitely going to pop on this crusty lace dubray here. It's pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, these things are pretty cool. I'm going to take a deeper look at them. Probably go voiceover mode uh, on the review portion. But again, got these. Super excited to have them. Super glad they came in very fast. So I'll catch you guys in a few. So as you guys saw in the unboxing portion, these come with a white pullout style box, which all A through ZX sneakers came with. I would have loved a commemorative or a special Simpsons box on these, but it is what it is. The box label on here reads ZX10000 Krusty Burger, and the colorway is of a cream white, supplier color, and cloud white variant. Retail price was set at 130 USD and released on February 12th of 2021. So on first glance, if you look at these sneakers, they look like a retro runner, but actually the ZX10000 was an entirely new silhouette that debuted in 2019 for the 30th anniversary of Adidas' Torsion Tech. The ZX10000 imagines what the new model would have looked like if it were to continue past the ZX9000 in 1989. They even called in the original ZX designer, Jacques Chasing, to work on this model. And my apologies if I butchered the pronunciation on that. While not so big in the US, the ZX10000 is a staple for many Adidas fans overseas. And after a few original colorways, this Krusty Burger pair emerged in February of 2021 as part of the A through ZX collection. If you aren't a Simpsons fan or a fan of Adidas' ZX line, then this pair isn't so relevant for you. But if you're a fan of both things like me, then this is a super cool piece of footwear to have in the collection. The overall color palette on here is a nod to the Simpsons Krusty the Clown character and his Krusty Burger restaurant. And looking at the uppers on these things, they're pretty technical, so let's break it down. For starters, this shoe looks super cartoon-like, and it's because of the black lining throughout, segmenting each part of the sneaker. There are a few brown canvas overlays that resemble sesame seed buns that you'd find on a hamburger. Moving along, there's a sail or cream colored canvas and textile hits, along with the pink felt suede which represents Krusty the Clown's face. Sections of red on the toe and midsole represent Krusty's nose, and then the teal three stripes branding and the Adidas trefoil logo on the back heel has been reimagined to look like Krusty's face in this sort of shaggy material. 
at the tongue tag is this tricolor trefoil logo, and resting on top of that fabric tongue as well is a white set of laces that has an A through ZX series on the lace tips. These come with a few sets of lace dubrays that I pointed out at the beginning of the unboxing, and Krusty the Clown's face most notably makes an appearance with this metal piece, and you could place a lace dubray right on top of it. Additional Simpsons logan can be found behind the tongue and at the insoles. The overall diversity of materials on here is super nice, and I think the quality is there to match it. I don't think they're meant to be a super premium runner, and at a retail price of $130, I think it's definitely worth it. As for sizing, I went true to size on these and found it to be perfect. Runners are to have a more secure fit, and going true to size achieves that for me. The comfort on here is also super nice. These utilize Adidas's torsion system, which in essence is a TPU arch to bridge the heel and the forefoot, which allows for the front and rear of the foot to operate and adapt to surfaces independently. What it comes down to is that these things offer a high degree of support and stability. I pretty much bit that off of the website, so that's why my notes sounded a little sophisticated on that. There's also a portion of the eyelets in this TPU material to provide a secure lacing fit. At the midsole as well is this polyurethane foam with a TPU heel counter, again for added support and stability. And then on the outsole is this gum rubber one, which I love. I'm a sucker for gum outsoles, if you're a fan of the channel you'll know that. And aside from the visual satisfaction that I get from it, these do have a nice traction pattern. Overall, I'm a huge fan of these sneakers. Adidas teased a bunch of marking material behind this pair ahead of the release, and it turned out great. I think it's a great concept and great execution by them, so it's definitely a pair for collectors. Combine that with a nice color palette, and these being a comfy retro runner, to me you really can't beat that combination. I know Vans did a Simpsons collection back in 2020, but truthfully I'm not wearing Vans much these days, so getting my fix from these ZXs is probably the best. Again, I think these are a must have if you like the Simpsons, or even just like Adidas' ZX line. And if you like this pair of the Krusty Burger ZX 10,000s, i definitely try to jump on it while you can. They pretty much sold out on release, and oddly enough resale prices aren't too bad right now. If you do decide to pass on this Krusty Burger pair, there is a pair of the Flaming Moes that is slated to release soon, which I also hope to get my hands on. That's all I have for this video though, let me know what you think of the ZX pickup. Are these things worth grabbing? or are you going to pass and use the money on something else? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you like content like this, let me know by dropping a like and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. I have a bunch of uploads pertaining to sneakers on the channel, so be sure to check them out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, at StuffDylanLikes, because that's where I'm going first to share things. That's a wrap for this video though, thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.